Hi, we're gonna learn how to make something called a twirly bird. Um, and you're gonna need to just remember these important things when you are making this. One is that you that anywhere you see dotted lines, that means you're gonna fold. Any place where you see thick line or just a straight line, that means you are going to cut. So I have actually already gone ahead and cut this section here. So you just cut right along here because this is a straight line and therefore it means I'm gonna cut here. I need to cut as well as you can see. So I'm gonna cut right along here, super. And on the other side, we need to cut as well. So cut right along that line because it is a straight line. Now, there are no other places that I'm going to need to cut for the twirly bird. However, I am going to need to fold. I'm gonna to need to fold in particular ways, so watch closely. So I'm going to need to take this side where I see the fold and I'm going to have to fold along it as carefully as I can to try to get this side to come down and I can it doesn't really matter which direction I fold this if I fold it forward or if I fold it back but the idea is that both of these sides have to fold together all right once I have folded both of these together they're not going to necessarily want to stay closed so what you can do is you can use a paper clip just a single paper clip that you clip to the bottom to kind of keep the pieces all together and to provide a little bit of extra weight. Now, this is not ready to go V twirly, not yet. So I'm going to need to um, fold these sides. Now, I could fold them both the same way, but I don't know that that's gonna twirl that well. You can try it out and see what you think. See if that, if that twirls when you drop it. But another way you could try to do it is you could fold one going one direction and one the reverse direction so you have something looking like this and this is it called a twirly bird so you'll have to see does it actually twirl it will be interesting to find out so drop it from a safe place uh, whatever your teacher tells you can drop it from so that you can find out what happens to this awesome thing that you have created